Most maps don't indicate specific boundaries of the seas, so it seems that they simply transition into each other and into the oceans. However, the fact is that the seas don't only have boundaries along the seabed. Different densities, salinities, and temperatures lead to the fact that the junction point of the different seas looks as if two walls collide with each other. There are several places on Earth where it can even be seen with the naked eye. The most impressive boundaries of the seas, or the sea and the ocean, are visible where vertical halocenes arise. What is this phenomenon? A halocene is a strong difference in salinity between two layers of water. Jacques-Yves Cousteau discovered this phenomenon while exploring the Strait of Gibraltar. Layers of water of different salinity seem to be separated by a membrane. Each layer has its own flora and fauna. For a halocene to form, the salinity of one body of water must be five times greater than that of the other. In this case, the laws of physics prevent the waters from mixing. Anyone can see a halocene in a glass by pouring a layer of fresh water and a layer of salt water into it. Now, imagine a vertical halocene that occurs when two seas collide, one of which has the percentage of salt five times higher than the other. The border is vertical. If you'd like to see this phenomenon with your own eyes, go to the Danish city of Skagen. There you can see the point where the North Sea meets the Baltic Sea. You could even get to see small waves on the border of the watershed. This is the waves of two seas that collide with each other. The boundaries of the watershed are so prominent for several reasons. The Baltic Sea is inferior in salinity to the North Sea. They also have different densities. The two seas come together in a small area and, moreover, in shallow waters, which makes it especially difficult for the waters to mix. The Baltic Sea is tidal. Its waters don't ever go beyond the edges of the basin. But despite the spectacular boundary between the two seas, their waters do get mixed gradually. This is the only reason why the Baltic Sea even has salinity. If it weren't for the salt streams that flow from the North Sea through this narrow meeting point, the Baltic Sea would actually be a huge freshwater lake. A similar effect can be observed in southwest Alaska, where the Pacific Ocean meets the water of the Gulf of Alaska. These waters also cannot mix right away, and not only because of the difference in salinity. The ocean and the Gulf have different water compositions. The effect is very colorful. The waters are very different in color. The Pacific Ocean is darker while the Gulf of Alaska is replenished by glacial waters and is thus light turquoise. The visual boundaries of these two bodies of water can be seen at the border of the White and Barents Seas, in the Bab el Mandeb Strait and the Straits of Gibraltar. Water boundaries exist in other places too, but they are smoother and thus invisible to the naked eye. Since the mixing of the waters is more intense, and yet, on your vacation in Greece, Cyprus, and some other island resorts, it is easy to see that the sea on one side of the island behaves completely differently than the sea washing the opposite coast. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. All the best to you. Goodbye.